Hi, welcome back to Joe's Garage. Today, I'm gonna to be taking a look at the Test Long um, Borescope camera. This is another product that I just got. I have spent a whole lot of time hands-on. Um, I've taken it out, charged it up, played with it just a little bit. I haven't really gave it a full test yet, but uh, I think that I know enough that I can give you an honest review, uh, overview if you will, uh, now. So what you get is this nice hard carrying case, and uh, it's an inspection camera, again made by Teslong. Uh, it's got a nice screen on it, I'll go through some of the specs here in just a moment. Uh, you got up and down arrow keys here, a settings button, an OK button. Uh, I'm not sure what this one does just yet, and then you have a mode. Down here you've got your power, and you've got a button to turn on the camera on the, the end of the, the camera that connects to the front of it. Uh, the cameras usually have three settings, high, medium, low, and then off. And it's very easy to connect to. You've got a button on this side that you can push and it kind of angles this down so the screen is up at more of an angle for you. And then down on the bottom, this little trigger, it's got a flashlight. Um, it comes with, I don't remember the length of it. I'll go over that with you here in just a moment. It's got a camera, it's very long. If you were uh, doing something uh, home maintenance running it through a trap, um, air air conditioning vent, dryer vent, things of that nature. It's, it's nice and long. And then I bought separately the smaller camera. The small one only has one camera on the end of it and the light, high, medium, and low. The one that came in the package has got, and I'll show you pictures here in a little bit, it's got three cameras on it. It's got one on the front like this one does. And it's got a camera on the right and a camera on the left. And then it's also got the high, medium, and low light on the front. Uh, I believe it's six LEDs on the front of it. And then it's got one on each side for the side cameras. Uh, you do have a function when you're running this through a drain. You can hit a button. And I believe that's what this button over here, I said I didn't know what it was. If you hit it, it will change the camera angle. So you can flip it upside down or what have you. That way you're not twisting, trying to get that right view. You can just hit a button and the system will do it for you. Um, it also comes with, in the package, these little ends. One of them is a little hook. So if you have something that dropped down into a real tight spot, uh, you could put this hook on the end of the camera right here and you would be able to to go down, hook it, and pull the item back out. And this other attachment is a magnet, kind of for the same purpose. If you're trying to fish something out of a tight area, a little bitty screw or something had fallen down into your engine bay, for example, it's the first thing that came to mind. You would be able to run this down, find it, attach it to the, to the bolt or the screw or the nut, washer, and pull it back out. That way you're not fishing and cursing and getting aggravated uh, it's just there to help you out a little bit so let me get these put back in here i'll pull up some of the the specs on the screen for you to take a look at and i'll uh, kind of read them out loud as you as you take a look at them so the the long um, piece that comes with it the connection on the end is like I was saying, a triple lens borescope. It's got a camera on the front and on each side. So it's got three lenses. Front view camera, side camera A, and side camera B. Six plus two LED lights, so there's six LEDs for the front camera, and there's one on each side of the, the lenses for the side cameras. Three adjustable brightness, bright, medium, low, and off, as I described earlier. Uh, this unit is IP67 waterproof. You can operate at 3.28 feet underwater, 
monitor is rainproof and designed for outdoor work. So it's not limited to just inside your garage. It's got a 5,000 milliamp battery, which is about four and a half hours of working time. And it is rechargeable. It comes with a charger and uh, you just charge it up, put it away and it's ready for use next time. The screen resolution is 1280 by 720. It's a five inch IPS screen, high definition. And that looks like all the information that I have at the moment. So when you're connecting your camera to the unit, it can only go on one way. It's got a little notch here and a little nipple here, and it only plugs in one way. Once you firmly seat it, this is a metal construction design or aluminum. Uh, it's not plastic, so it should last quite a while. You just screw it tight and you unroll the, the boroscope and you're ready to go to work. To turn the unit on, let me see if I can get a little closer. So to turn the unit on, you just push and hold the power button right here for just a few seconds. And there you see the camera. It is upside down at the moment. So that snaps the picture. There we go. You can use the up and down arrows and it flips it from one direction to the other. I've got it set on camera. There's video. There's the picture that I took just a moment ago and I can use the up and down to scroll through what I've taken. But I can hit the mode. Switch my lens to right side up, line up the picture, and I will put these on screen after this so you can see up close how clean it is. Snap the picture, and then I can switch it over to camera mode, and there I'm recording. It is upside down. I'm not sure how to fix that in camera mode. I'll have to mess with it and get back to you on that. There I stopped the recording. If I want to turn the camera lens, where the camera light on, that is a button right here just above the power button. So it's on bright. There you go. Bright, medium, dim, off. And then back on again. Down here you've got this trigger, like I showed you earlier, that turns the flashlight on on the front, turns it back off. If you want to angle this a little different, that would be right here, this little orange button. You can just press, of course my hand's going to be in the way, and it lays flat. Or you can push it, angle it back down. It does come with a 32 gigabyte memory card. That would be inside of this little flap right here. The memory card is right here, 32 gigabyte. And then your recharge port is right here. And there's nothing on the front and there's nothing on this side and there's really nothing on the bottom. Let's see if I can angle this. We can, like I showed you earlier, here's the playback there's the video okay and there I'm recording it is upside down I'm not sure how to fix that in camera mode I'll have to mess with it get back to you on that so I didn't realize that this had a speaker on it I mean I see it here I guess but I never really put any consideration or thought into it having a, a speaker for audio playback. That's really nice. It looks like there's a little hook here on the bottom that you could hook a, a little strap to. So if you wanted to put it around your wrist so it didn't fall or if you wanted to put a connector of some sort on it so you can put it on your, uh, your belt, you could do that. I won't be doing that, but... Um, turn it back off, you just push and hold for a few seconds and it shuts right off. Everything goes back into standby mode. Let me get back over here. 
So you roll everything up. You want to screw your little screw here, and it just disconnects, and you're ready to put it away for storage. Mine is going to sit right there. This is another short one. Um, I am going to run this camera through a few tight spaces. I might run it through um, like a hole here. I see I might pull a drawer out and try to shoot a, a picture or a video behind it to show you a few more pictures and videos of the quality that this camera has. And uh, I'll upload them at the end of this video right here. And uh, sorry this one's so short. I hope it was informative. If there's anything else you want to know or if there's something specifically you want to see, just uh, leave a message in the comment section below and I'll do my best to get that out to you. Thanks for watching. Here's testing the audio quality in the video. That's in a bottom drawer. One of the little uh, slide locks in my toolbox. And there we go. Looks like my head's cut off.